This is the training video for the HD STEF. It will give you an overview of the HD STEF app workflow. A first time user will go through the HD STEF app registration process. For a normal launch, when the user selects the HD STEF app, either from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, the app will take you to the ECG guidelines screen. The app registration process for Android and Apple iOS. Open Google Play Store for Android or App Store for iPhone. Search for HD Step app. Click on Install. Once the HD Step app installs, click on the Open button. Select Allow for HD Steph to take pictures and record video. Select Allow Only While Using the App to allow HD Steph to access this device's location. Select Allow to allow HD Steph to access photos, media, and files on your device. Enter your name. Select your profession from the pop-up menu. Enter your email address to send the registration code. Enter device serial number. You can find this on the battery compartment of the HD STEF device. Select your country from the pop-up menu. Enter your cell phone number. Then select Submit. Check your email that you have entered the registration code. Enter the same digital code that was sent to you and select Submit. Now you have completed the HD STEF app registration process. You are all set to use the app. Here is the overview of the app workflow along with your HD STEF device. Here are the HD STEF ECG guidelines that the user has to follow. Click on Proceed. HD STEF wants to turn on Bluetooth. Turning on Bluetooth. Make sure the HD STEF device Bluetooth is turned on. Once Bluetooth is turned on, the HD STEF app will detect the device and start pairing. If location services are not active, enable location services and GPS. If no HD step is found, then the pair icon will be red. Ensure Bluetooth is on on the device and app. The HD step app will detect the device and start pairing. Select OK in the pop-up window. Do you want to make this HD step as default for auto pairing? The screen will display paired successfully on the successful Bluetooth pairing. Here are the auscultation waveforms PCG and ECG. PCG is the sound and the green waveform is the ECG. Position the HD STEF device at one of the auscultation positions. Refer to our auscultation waveforms video for more information. Monitor the waveform on the tablet. Once you observe a steady reading, you can either record or freeze. The side scroll bar allows you to adjust gain levels of the waveforms. Select the record button to record both PCG and ECG signals. The red bar at the bottom of the screen will show recordings in progress. While recording is in progress, the patient must remain still and quiet. Select position and posture. In our workflow example, we are monitoring pulmonic and sitting position. Click OK. Select Previous or Next. The app will take you to the Previous or Next screens. Click on Save button. The message Saving Record is displayed. Select New Patient or Existing Patient. Add Patient Details. Enter Patient First Name. Enter patient last name. Enter patient ID. Add gender. Enter date of birth.
and phone number. Enter height, enter weight, enter temperature, blood pressure, blood glucose, enter hemoglobin, SPO2, enter address, City, State, Zip Code, Enter Email Address, Enter Comments. Select the Add Patient Photo box to upload your photo. Capture your image and upload. Select Save. The message, Successfully Save Patient Record, pops up with the patient name on the top left corner of the screen. Now you can record for different auscultation positions and posture. Select Discard if you want to discard the file. Pop-up window is displayed with are you sure you want to discard the recorded file? Select yes if you want to continue with the discard option. If the device is not on the patient, the message, please place the device on the patient and get ready for auscultation is prompted. Select Exit Study button. The message window asks, do you want to exit current patient? Select OK. Now you see the auscultation waveform screen with no name tagged on the top left corner of the screen. For existing users, patient details are not required again. You can record multiple records for an existing patient. Select Freeze Frame. You can review or unfreeze. When you select unfreeze, the app prompts for new patient, existing patient. Click on one of the selections. For existing patients, the app will prompt, do you want to update patient history? Select yes. Then the auscultation waveform window has the patient name on the top left corner. Now select the freeze button. The app takes you to the Select Position and Posture window. Select the position and posture that you are monitoring on the device. The frame freezes. Select Unfreeze. The app will save the record successfully. The procedure can be repeated multiple times for different positions and postures. Select Exit Study. The message, this action will exit patient study, do you want to proceed, will pop up. Select Yes if you would like to exit study. Open Settings window. You can select color for PCG, HF, ECG. Select Record.
record is saved successfully. Patient files have all the patients that are entered into the system. For an existing patient, in our example, for Peter Parker, all patient recordings are listed according to date and time. At this point, you can select from print, email, or delete options. Select a patient recording. At this point, you can discard or replay your record or print email. When you select patient recordings, the auscultation screen recording with audio will be displayed. You have several options to select from. Replay, Discard, Previous, Next, Print, Email. When you select Print, the HDSTEF app will display the auscultation report patientrecordings.pdf. When you select patientrecordings.pdf, you can choose to email, send a drive via Bluetooth. Email via Gmail will take you to the Compose screen, where you can email the file to a recipient. You can also select individual patient records to email. For an existing patient, you can select the Delete option to delete a patient recording. In our example, Jason selects a recording with time code 1212 and selects Delete button. The message, Are you sure you want to delete the recordings from the selected time, is displayed. Select OK if you want to delete the recording. We hope you found this video helpful. Have questions? Please contact customer support at 1-888-466-8074 extension 101 or email help at hdmedicalgroup.com.